Hi guys, uh, Nigel from Dinai. This is uh, vlog number two. Uh, no Before You Go UK Staycation Cruise. This is where we're going to share all the details about booking our trip on the Disney Magic with Disney Cruise Line. So uh, Disney Cruise Line following the advice from the UK government, apparently that anybody over the age of 18 must be fully vaccinated to go on a UK cruise, or anybody under the age of 18 must provide a PCR test five days before cruising. So luckily for me, Indiana and the rest of our party uh, were okay to go. What we needed to do was download the NHS app where our COVID vaccine travel passport is. And then what we have to do is submit this to a third party company that Disney provided are called Pendex and we submit our COVID certificate and they approve it. We do have a child in our group going on the cruise with us. Um, so they have to do a PCR test five days before they're cruising. So what we've done is we've uh, booked through Voots, uh, where they'll do that in store and then they'll provide us with a certificate. Fingers crossed that everything goes okay. Um, then we can submit the certificate to, to Pendix again for the child and then we'll be okay to cruise. So uh, recently uh, Disney Cruise Line have just updated their No Before You Go um, guidelines um, which is quite good. Um, we thought we'd have to wear a face mask uh, everywhere but we don't. Uh, basically um, you wear a face covering uh, when you're on the cruise ship but you may remove it when you're in your stateroom, uh, in the restaurants, when you're drinking and sat down and you don't need to wear a face covering when outdoors on the cruise ship. So that's great news that's just come through which is fantastic. Um, I do have some um, face masks that we are taking with us. So uh, the face mask, um, I do have some official ones from uh, Shop Disney. So that's my Star Wars one. That's my uh, Mickey Mouse face covering. Then we have a uh, Mickey head face covering. And then also the Marvel characters. So hopefully they'll have Marvel at sea when we're on the cruise. And also I do have the uh, the ones that we ordered online. Uh, it's always best to have uh, more face masks than none, just in case. Uh, so that's quite good. So we're all prepared for that. So uh, me and Deanna have been doing a, a lateral flow test uh, twice a week uh, since we uh, booked the cruise, um, because we just want to be safe that we can go, even though we've had the vaccine. And also it's in the guidelines for Disney Cruise Line and the UK government that uh, you need to do a lateral flow test uh, before you can board the cruise ship. So uh, when we arrive at the MSS Arena, uh, which is next to the uh, cruise terminal, uh, everybody in the party has to do a lateral flow test. Um, if they fail the first one, they are given the option to do a second one. But unfortunately, if you fail the second one, nobody in the party can board the ship. So. Um, we just have to go home if that happens. So fingers crossed that everybody uh, passes the uh, lateral flow test as well. So this was a uh, short vlog. Basically, we just wanted to share our experience on what we needed to do to uh, prove that uh, we were COVID-19 kind of safe uh, so we could go on this cruise, uh, basically. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully we'll join you on our next vlog. Uh, so don't forget to uh, like, uh, we do need a like so it's a thumbs up when you've watched the video and uh, if you wish you can subscribe to our channel uh, which will keep you informed on many more vlogs that we uh, seem to be doing soon. Well I think that will do it for today so thank you for watching this vlog and uh, hopefully see you on the next one. Don't forget we do have a uh, playlist on our YouTube channel uh, where we did some day trips, you're more than welcome to look at them. So from me and Deanna it's uh, bye bye for now.